What's going on guys, I'm no player here and today we're going to be looking at the King's Fall Raid Challenge Mode and the impressive loot you can actually get from it. So with the weekly reset, Bungie turned on the Challenge Mode modifier, which means if you go to Director and select the King's Fall Raid, you'll see which boss is offering up their challenge for the week and this week it's the War Priest. So for this entire week it will be the War Priest Challenge. I'm assuming the next week, which will be next reset on Tuesday, it will be Golgroth and then after that it will be Oryx. You need the challenge on either normal or hard mode, but of course normal will get you 310 worse loot and 320 loot from the hard mode. So it's definitely best to do the hard mode if you can and if you're high enough light for it. It's also worth noting if you do straight away the hard mode and not normal, it will give you both the normal and the hard mode loot on top of each other. So they overlap and doing the hard mode is definitely better if it gives you both the loot at the same time, which is nice. So let's take a look at how to actually do the challenge mode and what you need to do for it. So the good news is the challenge is really not that difficult at all. It's barely any different to how you would normally do the War Priest. All you need to do is defeat the War Priest in two damage sessions. That means he can only destroy one monolith, which is the statue that you hide behind to avoid the Oculus. And you need to do it in one rotation, do around 50% damage and let him destroy a monolith, and then do another cycle where you finish him off and destroy the rest of his health. That is how you do it in two damage sessions, and it's as simple as that. There were some rumors that nobody can die during the phase, but that turned out to be not true. You can die as many times as you want. All you need to do is kill him in two phases, but there is one more thing, and that is that you can't have the same guy hold Hold the aura both times. It needs to be a different person. So the last person to step on the glyph who gets the red aura bubble that you will hide into damage and the guy that shoots the acolytes, he needs to be a different person each of the two times. But it's fairly simple. All you need to do is make sure a different person is the last one to step on the glyph to activate the actual sequence. Now into the loot. This is actually pretty impressive stuff and for doing this you immediately get this emblem you can see right here and also a calcified fragment which is the 48th calcified fragment. So we only need two more to go to get all 50 and we'll find out what happens when you do get 50 in two weeks from now. And then you also go to his body and you get a ton of stuff. So most importantly you get a 320 artifact for hard mode and a 310 one for normal and if you do it on hard without doing normal first then you'll get both at the same time. 320 artifacts are actually pretty cool. You can see all three of the new ones on screen right now. They all come with a guaranteed perk of precision kills to the take and have a chance to spawn an orb of light. And they will also have one of the three possible perks out of solar, void, or arc precision kills will have a chance to spawn an orb of light against minions of the darkness, so basically PvE. And I actually really like these artifacts. I think they're actually decent perks and they're gonna come in handy if you need some orbs of light. And I especially like the hunter artifact, which you can see here. It basically looks like a little yellow horn fist. It's very weird, but it definitely very cool. So those are the artifacts. And then on top of that, you're gonna get a guaranteed 320 attack weapon for hard mode and a 310 attack weapon for normal and of course if you do the hard mode first then you're going to get both at the same time and you'll also get your standard loot so some mouldering shards and possibly another weapon or an armor piece so really if you do it on hard mode and get the challenge which is quite easy you're going to get a huge amount of loot and i really like this it's definitely not the difficult challenge we expected it to be it's kind of a letdown in that sense but you get a bunch of high level loot that you can use to infuse into your character and really power up to 320 so i'm happy with that and who knows maybe the golgroth and oryx challenge modes are going to be really difficult but there you have it basically do the war priest how you normally would and you're gonna get a ton of loot so i can't complain but like i've said now this is out of the way it's only a matter of time before bungie announces the next thing for destiny and i don't think we have long to wait so leave your comments down below in the comment section what do you think about the loot and are you gonna be attempting this yourself and also leave comments down below with what you get if you do manage to do it hopefully you have enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you guys in the next video